Hey guys, Fort Worth Glock Guy here, and I thought I would do a pocket dump. And this is kind of the things that I carry on the daily since my last pocket dump, which was a couple years ago. And as you can see, a lot of the stuff is kind of the same. Uh, so let's just kind of get right into this. And I'm going to divide this into like my daily carry versus my work carry kind of a thing. So you can kind of see how I pick and choose. Obviously, I can't put all of this in my pocket all at once. Uh, it's kind of a situational thing. You know, what am I doing for that day? Am I going to work? Am I at home? Et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sure we kind of all do the same thing and play the same game. So let's play the game, okay? So <clears throat> over here, I have an assortment of pens and I've got some kind of a field notebook. This one is what I use for my shopping lists on the weekends and so I usually only carry that when I've got you know some shopping to do I don't carry it on a daily basis I use my phone for that and I use an assortment of pens usually um, sharpie gel pen goes with that and they just kind of live together on my little um, shelf and I just grab them when I need to these other pens are what I carry for work and again, it just kind of depends on the shirt that I'm wearing, you know, if it's got a short pocket or long pocket. Um, if I'm wearing a polo shirt, you know, sometimes I'll clip it uh, sideways, like just through the little um, button loops and just carry it that way. So kind of just an assortment of pens, a couple short, one full size pen. So I enjoy all of these for different reasons. So I have an assortment for whatever I'm feeling that day um, as far as flashlights go again this hasn't really changed um, one of my favorite flashlights of all time is this Eagle Tack and this is the D25A I've had one of these for gosh I don't even know how long six seven years um, I had one previous that was in a titanium uh, it was titanium exact same thing and I left it on vacation at one of my stops. And as soon as I got home, I went ahead and ordered a new one because I loved it so much. I love the thin uh, profile, has a pocket clip. I love the modes on it and they make sense to me. Low, medium, high, and then um, turbo, and then there's strobe that I never use, um, all those functions. But I love the fact that it it is low, medium, high. There's a few flashlights that start either turbo mode or like medium and then cycle to high and then low and most of the time i just i just like to start low and then as if i need to ramp it up i do but i i like when they start in low mode which is why i like this one um, same thing with this i found this this is a lumen top uh, the model is edc 05c and i don't even know if they make these anymore but uh, when i bought it i loved it so much i bought a second one gave it to my father, bought a third one, and I keep uh, one in my office and then one that I carry. So again, it's got the same functions. It's got a low, medium, high, and then it just cycles through, and then you can double click and do some other things, which is kind of cool. What I like about this one too is it has a lantern mode. So if I double click, it goes into lantern mode, and then that is also a low, medium, and high so uh, kind of depending on what I do what I'm doing I may grab this one camping this is I, I do this all the time um, I like the, the fact that it it is kind of diffused so I like that uh, about it it's a little bit thicker than my um, Eagle Tech but again to have that uh, lantern mode I think is really cool um, other things that I carry in my pocket this is kind of a has been a staple of my channel. I wanna say this is the Ambassador. I can't remember. The, there's another one, this is a 74 millimeter. And uh, the other one is the Executive. I wanna say this is the Ambassador. 74 millimeter, it's got a pin blade. It's got a little nail file. And it's got a little bit bigger scissors than what you would find on your uh, keychain the 54 millimeter ones which is why i kind of like this it's it's not too big it's not too small it's just kind of right in that little sweet spot that i like um 
other thing, this is never, I hadn't left my pocket since I started the channel, really. This is the Juice S2. Um, well loved and worn, and I still use this almost daily. Um, what I really like about it is, and what I use most, are these little screwdrivers, like this little glasses screwdriver. What I do for a living, um, that comes in really handy. I use that quite a bit, and I'll show you something else that I've been using recently too, um, just so I don't have to pull it out and flip it open and all the other things. Um, this over here is kind of my work carry. Um, a little bit inspired by Erica, Erica's EDC. Um, she had a pair of Nipix pliers and she's got, she had the longer version. Um, I saw these smaller pair and decided to give it a try. And I had this extra hitch and timber, I forget what it's called, duo, I think. And uh, it fit perfectly. So that was kind of inspired by Erica. She, she had a little slip that she put her Nipix pliers in as well. Um, these work perfect, again, for what I do. Um, I like the fact that these are adjustable. I can do a lot more. It's got a little bit more capability or different capability than the juice. Um, I can open up these, these heads uh, a lot wider and get to what I need to without having to get gigantic pliers out. This works perfect. Um, I put a little titanium tweezers. I forget where I even got these. I think off of eBay somewhere. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of helpful and handy and takes up zero room and doesn't weigh anything. So I just kind of slipped it in there. So I've got a little um, pouch for that. And then this I bought, gosh, a long time ago too, and it, it ended up in a drawer and I completely forgot about it for a long time. Um, I don't even know if it has a name or where I got it from, but it's just a little uh, multi-tool. So it's got a small flathead slotted driver. It's got a little bit larger, not much larger, and then on the other side, same thing, except it's got the Phillips. So it's a uh, small and a larger Phillips. And these are kind of meant for small tasks. Um, eyeglass screwdriver, if you want to consider it that. Um, I, again, what I do for a living, I use small tools uh, all the time. You know, li fixing little things that come open. So like I, I use this all the time. And I thought this might be a little bit quicker and easier than having to pull this out of my pocket, find the little bit and then pull it out. Um, plus this is much easier to just um, twist where this thing is kind of like rattling around. So anyways, um, work carry. This, I had this um, in my pocket for years, a, you know, a long time ago you probably go back five or six years in my EDC collection. I had this in my pocket and I used it every day. And then it kind of, uh, I started using other things and I got away from using it. And then um, again, I opened the drawer and I'm like, yeah, man, that was, that was a really good kit. So let me start carrying it again. So I've been carrying this this year. Um, this is a, gosh, if I can even read it. Uh, four sevens prion if you remember those um, they were really popular eons ago um, I know flashlight technology has come a long way since then but again it does what I the order that I like um, low medium and high and it's just a little twisty thing so lightweight fits in this this goes in my pocket great and then this is a really cool um, Victor nuts, you're not gonna find anywhere because this is a special order. Um, I forget who I even bought it from, uh, but it has kind of an office carry kind of a thing. It's got an inline driver. It has the slotted driver with a can opener or bottle opener rather. And then it has this blade. 
which works great for opening packages. And again, at work in the office carry situation, this is perfect. I mean, no one is going to um, question anything about this knife. Open it up, you know, open up a package and then close it. So it's kind of functions as a letter opener more than anything else, but that's a really cool um, Victorinox, Victorinox modded uh, tool that I like to use. So I've been carrying this one a lot recently, uh, specifically this year, um, as I got back to work. So that's kind of my work carry. Um, I do like carrying um, a small uh, knife at work too. And so these are kind of my choices for that. Um, the Quiet Carry IQ, and what I like about this one, number one, titanium, the blade shape. Um, I love that. Uh, sheep's foot kind of 940 ish kind of look to it I love that and I also love the fact that it is so deep carry it just goes in your pocket you don't really even notice this it's so it's so deep in your pocket it just looks like a pen clipped to your pocket which is what I really like um, and then I've got a couple uh, of these small mini 9 945 um, that sometimes I'll I'll carry just for fun mix things up a little bit um, again it's about the same size as the uh, quiet carry I don't need much at, at work again it, you know I'm what I do for a living is I don't need a huge knife at work so this is a very nice office carry um, and then same thing in the original green again I just love that blade shape so that's kind of this is my kind of office carry work carry uh, side of the bench here um, and everything that's left is just what I carry when I'm at home uh, on the weekends that kind of a thing uh, I've dubbed this my uh, my mini uh, bug out I've dubbed this my pajama carry um, just because it's so lightweight I can just throw this in my uh, athletic shorts and it weighs nothing um, and you can see, I mean, it's, it's been carried quite a bit, you know, the, the orange is starting to become a burnt orange. Uh, so yeah, this one's a, been a staple in my EDC rotation as well. My quote unquote hard use has been this Hinder, uh, three inch, and this has, is the vintage model. So it's got kind of a green. Uh, titanium side and it originally I think it came with a wooden scale and I bought this on the secondary someone had replaced it with the black uh, scale which I thought was cool and I have absolutely used and abused this thing you can tell the blade is just very well used I'll just say I'll just leave it at that so anyways that one's great and then I ended up picking up a, in the last couple years, I picked up a 31. I have, I have, uh, I carried a 21 prior to this and there's nothing wrong with the 21. In fact, I kind of prefer it. Um, but I wanted to see what the 31 was about. Give it a shot. This one came up at a great price. So I grabbed it and it has been my everyday carry for a year and a half, maybe two years. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I mean, you can see it's got nice little snail trails on it. Um, this one happens to have gold uh, thumb studs and um, spacers and all the things, but this has been a great one too. Um, I can't really tell you why I like the 21 maybe a little bit better. Uh, there's nothing about this that I don't like. Uh, I just for some reason I think I like the inlays on the 21 a little bit better the the 31 inlays are just kind of you know I don't know I just kind of prefer the 21 and I'll I'll just leave it at that I'm not going to try and justify it I just like the 21 um, but there's certainly nothing wrong with this one so and then when I carry these knives these are my utility knives breaking down boxes, that kind of a thing. I always try and carry a secondary blade as well. Um, tends to be a traditional. 
And so I've got a few little options over here, just depending on, again, what I'm doing. So here's a TC Barlow. This is the uh, 14. And again, I got this on the secondary. I get a lot of my stuff on the secondary market. You know, Facebook pages, uh, Instagram, uh, and if if I see a good deal, I, I go for it. Um, you know, anytime you can save a little bit of money, I'm all about that. So here's a TC Barlow 14. Um, this one I've had for a long time too. Uh, Medium Trapper by Case. And this one's a stainless steel. This one is new-ish. I've had it for maybe a year or so. Um, this is the copper head. Um, I'm a huge copper lock fan. Uh, the smalls are a little bit, maybe too small for an EDC. I like them. The larges are a little bit, maybe too large for, again, just EDC, throw it in your pocket. They're a little bit long. This one kind of fits right in the middle, which is why I picked it up. So um, the case copperhead little bit bigger than the copper lock small a little bit smaller than the the large copper lock just kind of right in the middle kind of a medium size but otherwise the profile is exactly the same there's just not a lock on the back it's just a slip joint so anyways maybe i'll do a size comparison between the the copper locks and the copper head sometime and then a slimline trapper So this one's nice too. Nice, long, slender blade. This is great for like cutting apples. Um, as you can see, like these two have patinaed up really nicely. Again, I just use these for food prep mostly. Um, so this is all usually like apples and oranges, uh, maybe a banana and strawberries occasionally. So nice little patina on those. That's CV steel. And yeah, that's about it. Um, as far as life update, I know it's been a long time since I've posted videos, man. I've, I've got three kids, three daughters, and they are um, right in the middle of teenage years. So I won't go into any detail, but that's where I've been the last couple of years. Just, you know, doing all the dad things and doing all the, the teenage daughter teenage things and dealing with all the emotions and everything else that goes along with that. Um, and just trying to be present in my kids life. Cause I, you know, it hit me a few years ago that, you know, my oldest is a junior in high school now and she's only in my house for a couple more years. So I'm doing what I can to be a good dad and be supportive and everything before she moves out, teach her some things. And yeah, so it's been, it's been interesting last couple years. So um, I've just made that a huge priority is to just be present in my kid's life and, you know, trying to, to be the dad, but not hover and give her space to grow. And We've both made mistakes along the way, but you know, that's how you learn. There's no parenting uh, guidebook. You know, I'm just kind of learning along the way. So anyways, um, yeah, it's great to do this video. Um, I watch a ton of videos. I try and comment when I can. I'm very active or I'm more active on Instagram uh, just because I can do a snapshot and move on with my life. Uh, so, you know, I do a lot of, of that. I've been wanting and meaning to do a video uh, for YouTube for a while. It's just been so hot in Texas. I mean, we've been in the 106 to 110 range for almost a month and a half. And it's starting to break down uh, into the upper 90s. So it's not quite as hot. So I've just not been motivated to do a video because it's just been so hot. But now that it's kind of breaking a little bit with temperature, um, I've got a few ideas I'd like to do, maybe in the next week or two when I've got some free time um, with some of, the, some of this gear and some other gear that sometimes I swap in and out of my rotation too. 
So anyways, great to hear from you guys. Great to talk to you guys. I love the interaction. Um, I'll try and be better about posting videos. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little video and um, I'll do my best. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, Fort Worth Glock Guy, out.